So now in this video, we're gonna switch a, a couple of my LED modules right here. So they are uh, brighter LEDs, they're one watt LEDs. They're made for five volts because the module has a resistor on there. I did have to solder the uh, wires onto it uh, myself, um, by the way. But in uh, any case, we have uh, two of them. We're gonna put them in parallel again, and we're gonna switch them with a transistor. We're gonna control the switch though with a mechanical switch. We could just use a mechanical switch directly. Um, we're gonna get about 500 milliamps of uh, current, but this video is more a demonstration of a good transistor, in my opinion, to use. So, we are not using a TO92 package, 2N2222, because it can only have no, about 600 milliamps of current. And uh, this is getting close to that. So we wanna step it up. You don't wanna go close to the maximum at all times. And the 2N3904 has a 200 milliamp uh, limit. So we could uh, do this without the heat sink, but we're using the TIP31. It's in the TO220 package. That looks like that, uh, there it is. But uh, the kit that I got these from, and I have some other ones that I bought, have these heat sinks there. So I just added the heat sink, but I think when it comes to 500 milliamps, when we're switching it, um, probably don't need the heat sink, but I added it anyways. So we have a lot of base current. We're gonna go, this particular transistor here has a maximum current that's going through the collector. That's what that little C means of uh, three amps and a maximum current going through the base of one amp. That's because I think under certain conditions, this transistor only has a gain of like 10, like worst case scenario. And uh, you're probably lucky if it's like 25 or something. And uh, I think we got enough gain though with this, this amount of current, it's gonna be like 13 milliamps of current. I think it does saturate the transistor. But uh, when we just have one of these LED modules, I was getting about 450, I mean, sorry, 250 milliamps of current uh, flowing through. So if we got two, you expect about 500 milliamps of current, twice the 250. But uh, we're actually getting, when we put uh, the current through the two of them, and then the transistor, about 450 milliamps. That's because uh, the transistor, according to the data sheet, builds up a little voltage as uh, current goes up. So I think it's dropping a little bit of voltage. I don't think we can avoid that in this case. So in any case, we're gonna use 330 ohm resistor. As I said, when we close the switch, it's gonna give somewhere about that 13 milliamps current. Now, I've been using the uh, 2N and PN bipolar junction transistors like the 2N2222 and the 2N3904. Uh, Their pin layouts are emitter base collector. But here you can see with this one, looking at the front there, we got a base on the left, collector in the middle, and emitter on the right. So let's go to the breadboard and uh, wire this up. So we have uh, this resistor, the positive side supply to the uh, top of the switch, and then bottom of the switch, this little jumper right there. So that's gonna be the base, and then the collector is gonna be down here. So uh, between these two, uh, jumpers we can wire the uh, switches so we're going to do them parallel and I uh, I tried to make them the same length but uh, this one has longer wires which actually works out uh, okay it uh, lights above the other one uh, fairly well so I don't really want to touch the heat sink but uh, it seems to pass light uh, pretty good uh, through there so we have uh, those so again base gonna be collector there in the emitter down there so Base is the left pin, if we turn it that way. Now it's the top pin, uh, pretty simple. So it's facing to the left, and we can just plug it into the board right there. And uh, I don't know why I messed something up. I think I miswired it. There you go, so. Oh, I know, I'm giving it uh, maybe false signal. Hmm, that's weird. So in any case, yeah, we got it wired properly. I don't know why uh, I was giving it a uh, false signal before, but uh, there you can see, we got her wired up. I'll pull back and uh, we can see the light. So it does light up a lot more when uh, there's uh, two of them than one of them. It doesn't matter which one I pluck, but you're gonna see there, the, uh, the light went uh, way down. And uh, turn that off, plug that uh, back in. Turn them on, and now I'll pluck the little one. 
and there you can see it's not as uh, bright as it is with the two of them so it really makes a big difference to do the two of them also let's uh, do the power supply so so that we can see that current so there we go we got more than 250 milliamps of current that's also the current going through the uh, base though so probably just a little bit shy with the uh, LED of a 250 milliamps but it was close and then I uh, would put the two so we would expect you know close to uh, 500 with the two of them but we're getting you know uh, about 450 I think it's because stuff is warmer now it's uh, gone up a little bit before it was saying like 460 now it's a uh, 475 so in any case hope you enjoyed that's it for this video make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.